a photojournalist, John W. Mosley, documented the vitality of Philadelphia's black community from the late 1930s to the height of the civil rights movement in the late 1960s. Over this past summer, we had the great privilege to work with Nafis Thompson, a senior at Chestnut Hill College who worked as an intern here at Woodmere doing research on the Mosley exhibition. One of the important things Mosley tried to capture in his work was black people at work. Um, you have to understand that because of prejudice at the time, even with their qualifications, most black people were only able to obtain jobs in domestic service. But Mosley, he um, really captured a lot of individuals at work on all levels of the job spectrum and not only at all levels but operating complex machinery like um, a printing press like tuning a piano he had pictures of black store owners he had pictures of nurses and one of the photographs that really captures the complexity of the workforce at Mosley's time is a ship christening. In this photograph, you'll see John G. Pugh, the owner of the Sun Shipbuilding Company, now known as Sunoco. He's standing by a Miss Rachel Stevenson, who has the bottle that will christen the ship. And she's an important figure. I mean, this is an important moment. She was christening a ship completely made by a black shipbuilding team. The question arose, who was Rachel Stevenson? And it turns out she was known as the office matron of the Sun Shipbuilding Company, um, which is a supervisor. We have a black woman who managed other people in a position she held for over 20 years. Um, this christening of the ship happened during World War II. So you have to keep in mind that like World War II led to a lot of progressive acts because there was the need for labor. So um, that doesn't take away that Sunoco was very progressive at the time. It had um, various shipyards with builders. Shipyards like Yard 4 was a segregated shipyard, completely made of all black shipbuilders. That's not necessarily bad because in that one shipyard, we get a good 15 Liberty ships built by an all black crew. And at the time, there was, a, as I learned through my women internship at the time, there was a belief that uh, black men could only operate or move the cargo within ships. So to actually build ships was a pretty amazing feat. It's amazing that the photograph gives us this whole story. Yeah. And what's interesting about the photo is that you see Mosley capture it in a way that the people are in soft focus and the thing that's really in sharp focus are the welds of this ship. These welds were made by black hands. So it just sort of pits a lot of things into perspective that you have, not in a good way, not in a bad way, just in a way that shifts your thinking or your initial thoughts.